actually it's actually warm and humid at the same time out here in eugene feels like thunderstorm weather really interested to see if something like that would happen reminds me of down south today but at the moment we got a subaru here for cv axle service well she's not stuck in the hub that's good she sure does make a lot of rattly clackety noises though so that's probably our culprit i'm gonna say i should be able to make quick work of that especially how it didn't exactly snuck in that side so let's get this blasted down fast for the client got the old wheel bearing out and everything apart to reassemble here i'm about to pull that cv axle out it shouldn't be too hard from here old bearing wasn't that bad but i'm doing a cv axle on a subaru definitely better is a good idea so we got a mevotech supreme unit here new outer tie rod end too i sure did waste time trying to reserve the other one wish i would open my parts box first and then we got a nice axle by track, track motive so let's get this old axle sucked out and the new one stuffed in and get this on the way. All right, I refabricated my CV axle slide hammer extractor 9000 and it got that out so easy. Yeah, that's absolutely the way you do that every time. Don't be beating on these things or trying to pry them out. Cut you a hole in the boot. Grab the cup with the vice grips. Attach the vice grips to the slide hammer. Tunk, 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 she's out and like no crying. And I know how long that would have took me otherwise. So now everything's out, time to begin reassembly. We got everything here to go, and it shouldn't take me a whole long time. Let's put it together. Good going. We got a wheel hub assembly in, and we got a CV axle in. Still need to tighten up the nut. Got an outer tie rod end on. Got these retightened. Alignment's going to be out as always. But now all I got to do is put the brake set back on it. But I wanted to show off what my work looked like before I hit it off. So, marked, signed, dated good everywhere that old cv axle sucked there's what's left of that i believe all that noise is going to be gone let's get the wheel on let's give it a test the axle nut on torque to spec brakes all back together everything marked and pretty got my cv axle marked in multiple locations so you can see it from the top under the hood too if you want to know if that thing's old that's in there good way less noise already just from handling it after assembled and tight so let's go take a test drive and see if it shut it up not making any more of that horrible noises which that's real cool and one follows another so that's all done the others will be ready for me to make a little bit of money soon we'll wait until they go to clicking though as they fail i'll replace them mevotech supreme did me real good that time so we got a new axle seal in it new axle new wheel hub bearing assembly and new outer tie rod end alignment feels pretty damn straight i came very close with that i don't know if i mentioned weirdness thunderstorm weather it kind of feels like georgia out here at the moment uh i don't think this will be particularly severe but it might be more of an interesting rainstorm than i've been getting out here in the last couple of years they're on the way to come pick it up and then i'm gonna chill at the house 